Hi, my name is Marilito, I'm a print makeup artist, and today we will talk about touch-up and color boost after print makeup procedure for the lips. Please watch this video till the end, I will show for you all details how I am working with the clients and I am providing this procedure. You did permanent makeup procedure for the lips and your client come back to your studio after one or two months for touch-up and color boost. And sometimes you can see that your client has some gaps on the contour and some gaps on the lips inside. Let me show for you. For example, we have gaps here, 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 and for example, something inside our lips and we have to understand what we should do and how we will add the color for this client. Before you moving forward with procedure, I recommend to do some notes and place some dots for you. For example, I am drawing some notes for myself that I have to do touch up in these areas on the contour and I have to also add the color inside our lips where we miss in some colors. When I'm working on the chap appointment, usually I'm working with needles 1.030 or 0.25. And I'm adding color on the contour here, here, and I'm adding a little bit inside where I should add the colors. But sometimes if our client would like to get a little bit brighter look or more intensive look, we also can add color inside our lips. And we can do one or two passes additionally to our client. For this reason, if you would like to add color inside, you can use needles 3, 3 slope flat. It depends which needles you would like to use for this procedure. Sometimes our client has very bright contour and has not very bright color inside our lips. It depends how you're working and in this what you should do. First of all, if you have very good contour, you can do just one, two passes uh, to add color inside the lips with needle one or three. Or if your client has some missing color on the contour, you will add just here a little bit colors and you will work inside the lips. But you should understand why it's happened. It's happened because when you are working with contour, you are going a little bit deeper inside the skin. And when you are working inside the lips, you are working more powdered and more superficial. That's why or you should work on the contour more transparent, more soft, or you can dilute your pigment with diluter. For example, you can have one, two drops of pigment and one, two drops of diluter, and you can work with the contour. When you start to work inside the lips, you can switch and you can work just with pigment without the water. And when it will heal, when your client come back, the contour will heal approximately 50% less because you diluted this pigment and you will not have very, very bright contour for this client and it will be even pigment inside the lips. And now let me show for you everything what I told you right now when I'm doing my touch-up procedure or color boost for my clients.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful for you. And please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. See you soon. Bye-bye.